So these are the review of all the 83 formulas. And Guiji Tang is the formula warm and release. So it releases exterior by warming it. And what, what is the keyword for Guiji Tang? Sweating is the keyword. So question will give you the wind, cold, even fever. They think this is the formula not for the fever, but fever is a common hint for Guiji Tang too. So check the sweating. And there is Guiji Tang. And this question can be on your examination too. Guiji and Xiaoyao ratio. And this same question can be asked with Guiji Jia Xiaoyao Tang. What is the ratio with Guiji Jia Xiaoyao Tang? There is 1 to 2. Next, Urchin Tang. Urchin Tang is a basic formula. So, and please remember this composition. Bansha, Chenpi, Fuling, Ganzhou. And there is Shen Chang, invisible Shen Chang. So this bansha is processed as senchang. So bansha, champi, fooling, each has a role removing phlegm. So once you see any sign of phlegm, you should think about bansha and senchang and champi. And there are many modification questions, especially the hints with the phlegm, like a sputum or dizziness or blood vision. Those all can be nausea, can be sign of phlegm. Then you should be able to add, pick the Banja and Champi as a modification. And Ping Weishan, what is the keyword for King Ping Weishan? Is dampness, not the full stagnation. Please do not be confused. Ping Weishan treat the dampness in middle jaw. So indirectly, it can help the digestion. But full digestion is connected to Sancha, Shenku, Maya. And this formula is for dampness. And Si Junji Tang, same. All these basic formulas not be on your examination independently, but this is fundamental. So Renzen and Baichu, when you think about Baichu, please remember it tonifies spleen. So Renzen tonifies actually all Qi, Yuan Qi, Wei Qi, Zhong Qi, any Qi, but Baichu specifically tonifies spleen Qi. So Si Junji Tang is specifically for spleen. And Si Wu Tang, and please remember the Su Di Wang is a chief herb. It has been on the examination and it tonifies blood. When you try to tonify blood, Dangui is the key herb. So Dangui and Diwang is a paired herb, and Dangui Baishou is also paired herbs. Those are paired herbs. And Huang Yan Jidu Tang, treat three jiao hit, three jiao hit. And remember all different locations, Huang Qin, chest, and Huang Yan, middle jiao. So Huang Yan is commonly used for gastrointestinal functions. And Huang Bai, lower jiao. And Wang Bai is commonly used to tonify in. Wang Yan Jeju Tang treat excess heat. Even though Wang Bai is here, this is not for anti heat, only excess heat. So rapid and forcible purse. So you should be cut, able to connect the purse and decoction, but you don't have to memorize all of them. It's impossible for me, at least for me. But there are general rules. Only remembering those general rules can be enough to solve the questions. There are some formulas, the purse and tongue coating is not that intuitive. Then you need to memorize them. And Liu Wei Di Wang Wang, remember three herbs tonifies and three herbs sedate. So if the question asks you which herbs sedate inside Liu Wei Di Wang Wang, you should know Fuling, Mudampi, and Che Xie does. And Liu Wei Di Wang Wang tonifies in while Si Wu Tang tonifies blood. And both of them, Su Di Wang is the main king herb. So Su Di Wang tonifies, split and tonifies blood and also in. And please remember all these modifications of Liu Wei Di Wang Wang. You should memorize it. It has been in a board examination. Shi Chang Pu Chi Shi and Gu Chi Chi Zhu Hua, Gu Chi Chi and Zhu Hua, and Jim Huang by all this in the examination. Why not else? something else. It can be on your examination too. How about this? Bai Ji Li and Shi Ju Ming all clears the wind on eye. So it treats eye symptoms. Bai Ji Li and Shi Ju Ming. Ming means bright. So it makes your eye bright. And Bai Xiao Gu Chi Ji. Same Gu Chi Ji goes to eye. And in Chao San, what is the keyword of in Chao San? Yeah, it is a wind hit. Throat. Throat pain. This Yin Chao San has a lot of clearing heat and also 
like something like anti-inflammatory herbs, with the releasing the herbs which has cooling property like danduchi and nubangchi. And in Chaosan is first choice in my clinic, early stage, very early stage of wind heat. So sore throat is the keyword. And there's G again, so you can treat coughing. So coughing can be given as an option, but coughing is more suitable answer for Sanchuin because Sanchuin has Signan too, both Signan and Jiegen. And Sanchuin and In Chaosan both treat sore throat by heat. So pharyngitis, laryngitis, those symptoms. But Sanchuin treat coughing and also, there's something you should remember is eye symptoms because it has juha. It can release eye congestion or irritation. But if the question asks you with orbital pain or pulling out eyeballs, that is not the keyword for Sanchuin. That is the keyword for Chaige Jiejitang. Right? You learned that already. Chaige Jiejitang treat orbital pain. So it is more severe condition with the heat signs. Tell the difference, eye congestion and irritation and orbital pain and pulling out from orbit, eyeballs, pulling out eyeballs. That kind of extreme shading pain is chaige jejitang. And understand orbital pain and pulling out eyes, eyeball as a headache. That is kind of a headache, clasped headache. So and chaige jejitang, jejitang treat headache. Which is headache? There's another keyword. 3 yang, 3 yang headache. There is another keyword for chai ge jie So if you find 3 yang headache or question can give you the locations. So front and back and vertex headache all together, then you should be able to pick chai ge jie And pain around the eyes with the headache, there is chai ge jie jie And toothache too. TMJ pain and toothache can be given as a hint. It is part of headache, TMJ and toothache, chai ge jie jie tang. So chai ge jie jie tang should be differentiated from san chuin with eye symptoms, but san chuin is the early stage of wind heat. And chai ge jie jie tang is more heat condition, internal heat. It has herbs like shi gao and huang qin, which san chuin do not have. That is chai ge jie jie tang. Please remember this keyword. Headache, 3 yen. And Orbital pain. And next, Ransen by Dusan. Usually, California asks you with uh, fatigue, weakness. It can be explained in various ways also. And by Dusan actually do not have any herbs releasing exterior. So this is a very common modification. Jing Jie Fang Feng. So remember this Jing Jie Fang Feng very common modification for your practice and also for your examination. If you have a question that asks you to choose formula that should be avoid heat or wind heat condition, you need to pick Rensen by Dusan. Why? Because it has Rensen. Rensen has a warming property. This is kind of tonifying formula. Uh, this is another question. All these stages of abscess, like a pharyngitis, pus on the throat. If you find pus on the throat, which herb or what is the proper modification, then you should be able to pick, add Jininwa and Lin Chao. This is Lin Chao Baidusan. We learned this, right? So Jing Jie Baidusan and Lin Chao Baidusan, remember both of them. Bai Hu Tang. Bai Hu Tang treat stomach heat and Yang Ming channel heat. And which one treat Yang Ming organ heat? Cheng Chi Tang. Cheng Chi Tang family. And Bai Hu Tang, Yang Ming Channel. And Bai Hu Tang, paired herb, Shi Gao Jimu. Stomach heat with the nourishing in property. It tonifies, not, you cannot say, usually say tonify, but it is about generate the fluid. Because stomach heat commonly combined with thirst, a lot of thirst. And when you think about, when you see this Bai Hu Tang, this is the extremely important clue. And it is commonly shown on a broad examination, just like Liu Wei Diwa one. Three big symptoms. So if you have a high fever, you will sweat. And if you sweat a lot, you will troubled with thirst, right? So this is kind of chain reaction. Memorize that way. And usually underlined one is 
counterintuitive one. So Bai Hu Tang treat slippery person. It is in an ancient text. So it is kind of confusing because Shi Gao Jim all nourish fluid, but slippery person, slippery is a sign of phlegm, but it treats slippery person. Here slippery means kind of excess. Something is there excess. So in this case it is not intuitive, so memorize it. So slippery purse can be the right purse for this bai hu tang. Mm. Patient took bai hu tang with fever and profuse sweating. After taking three days, he complained general weakness and thirst. This is actually important clue. And that is what is the proper modification? Renzen is the answer. Severe thirst. Zhang Zhongqing added Renzen. So Renzen Bai Dusan. This is called Renzen Bai Dusan. But it is usually it will be usually given as a hint to weakness. But it is not in the, in the original text Sanghanun. Only the thirst. Because in Sanghanun, Renzen is used to turn off the nourish in fluid. Not much of Qi tone of fire. And next and du qi wan, du qi san, dao qi san. So, bai du san go to where? Stomach. And dao qi san goes to where? Heart. Because qi means red. Qi is red. So it goes to heart and treat the heart hit and goes to where again? Small intestine. Because small intestine and heart are connected. And please remember urination. Those are the keywords for Dao Chi San. It releases heat by urination. So actually, Mu Tong is the king. So it is strange, right? So it releases the heat by urination. So what are the key symptoms for Dao Chi San? Uh, dark urine. Dark urine. Where it is? Dark urine. Dark colored urine. This is the keyword for Dao Chi San. And also, ulceration or sore in the mouth. Why? Because it's a heart hit. So heart hit and small intestine. I don't have to I do not have to explain all those pathologies like small intestine and urine. So mouth ulcer and dark urine is the key. So Dao Chisan. And it is commonly used for fidgeting and irritability actually in my clinic. So kids who does not sleep very well and kids who wake up in the middle of night with night terror. It is very effective formula, Tao Chi San. And Long Dan Shui Gan Tang. When you think about Long Dan Shui Gan Tang, damn heat is the keyword, damn heat. There should be not only heat, but should be damp. The so soggy, those wet feelings. And it goes to liver, gallbladder, and where? Groin. You should remember groin too for this formula. So it treat the problems in the groin area and external genitalia. So it treat hepatitis and liver cirrhosis, but also it treat the uh, jock itchy, contact dermatitis around the groin. So it, it goes to both sides. And this is also important too, vaginal discharge. But if the question asks you vagina discharge with the white and not smelling, then you should pick one dai tang. And foul smelling, yellow, that is long dan she gan tang. Which herb remove damp heat in liver and gallbladder? Long dan chao. And remember this modification too. If the patient has constipation, da wang and mang shao. If there's bleeding, mu dan pi and zhe ba yi. And san huang she shen tang. What is the keyword? Another formula treat three zhao, all three zhao hit. Like Wang Yan Jie Tang, it treat all three zhao. Wang Qin, upper. Wang Yan, lower, middle. And Da Huang, lower. But it treat damn hit constipation with Da Huang. That is the keyword too. Damn hit, but with constipation and external abscess. Chonggi katan ka boils and couple calls, and even internal abscess too. And next, Bai To Wang Tang. Bai To Wang, Bai to Wang is a flower, looks like a grandmother, and it goes to large intestine, large intestine. So it treat heat toxin 
in large intestine. That means hemorrhoid or abscess and bloody pus. So look at this. Diarrhea is ra rather blood than white pus white. So this formula treat bloody stool, not the pus. It, it, it is important in national board examination because there is a very similar formula which has an indication as a more pus than blood. But this one treat blood, blood stasis. So by to wang tang treat those hemorrhoid-like symptoms, hemorrhoid-like symptoms, excessive heat. By to wang tang, get used to it. By to wang tang, treat this intestine. Remember this dancing intestine. And Huang Bai, Huang Nian, just like San Huang Xie Xin Tang. Right? So it removed damp heat with Bai Tu Wang. So toxic heat dysentery, burning sensation of anus. Those are old heat signs. Those are old heat signs. And Qing Wei San. So Bai Du San goes to stomach, Dao Chi San goes to heart, Bai Tu Wang Tang goes to large intestine, Qing Wei San goes to Wei, Wei. So it treat stomach heat, but not stomach as an organ, but gums and teeth. That is the keyword for Qing Wei San. So Qing Wei San is commonly used as for stomachitis. What is stomachitis? Stomachitis. Stomachitis, stomach originally means mouth, not Gastric. So stomachitis means ulcer or inflammation on your mouth. So stomachitis is the keyword for this Qing Wei San. So it is easier to connect. Wei is the stomach and it treats stomachitis. Remember the way. Gingivitis. Building the gums with the heat. That is Qing Wei San. And how they this formula treat stomach heat and Gingivitis, because Huang Nian clears the heat in the middle jaw. So Huang Nian is commonly used for stomach heat. Shi Gao treat, Shi Gao and Huang Nian both treat stomach heat. But Shi Gao generate fluid, but Huang Nian totally opposite. It removes the dampness and inflammation. And this Sheng Ma goes to upper. So this is kind of guiding herb. So it treat. So remember this one as a guiding herb. This is the king herb. Stomach and Sheng Ma guide Wang Nian to work on your mouth. That is Qing Wei San. So always remember this all these different symptoms. And Qing Hao Bi Jie Tang. And Qing Hao Bi Jie Tang clear, clears empty heat. So it tonifies with Di Huang and clear heat with Di Huang. And Qing Hao treat those malaria like heat. So empty heat, it treats Ji Mu, Bi Jie, all nourish in also. Treat empty heat. And remember with the empty heat signs, you should memorize this. Heat worse than night. And in this specifically can be given as a hint for Qing Hao Bi Jie Tang. Feeling coldness in the morning. So heat released in the morning. If you find this keyword, connect Qing Hao Bi Jie Tang. I cannot say totally exclusive. 90%. If you see this keyword, think about Qing Hao Bi Jie Tang. Okay? Released in the morning. Fine and rapid is common purse. Okay. And Dang Gui Liu Huang Tang. Actually, Dang Gui Liu Huang Tang is not that clearing heat herb. This is for excessive sweating by empty heat. So, in deficiency heat. Huang Qi is used largest tomatoes. Can you see? 12 gram, but this is not king herb because this formula is for indeficiency. Dangui, Su Di Wang, Sheng Di Wang is the king herb. But Huang Qi is the largest amount. It can be on your examination because it is kind of confusing. So Huang Qi tonifies Qi and another or other herbs clear empty heat for excessive sweating due to indeficiency is the keyword. So night sweat with empty heat. And remember this amount of Wang Qi 
it can be on your examination. Uh, if you use this formula for the spontaneous sweating, add tonifying cheers like Renzen and Baichu, then it can be used for both spontaneous sweating and night sweating. So that is Dangui Liu Huang Tang. Sinisan, what is Sinisan? Sinisan regulates Qi. And what does that mean? Sini means four extremity. So it reverses Qi to the right direction. So let it go, travel to the extremities, end of your body, by regulating Qi. So Chai Hu Bai Shao. Chai Hu Bai Shao is a strong liver Qi regulator. Chai Hu Bai Shao. And the Sini San and Xiao, Xiao Yao San and Xiao Chai Hu Tang all has Chai Hu. Those are the formulas with Chai Hu, but all has different actions and indications. And Sini San treat cold hand and feet by liver Qi stagnation. That is the keyword. And this is a formula regulates, not tonifying formula, Sini San. While Sini Tang is tonifying formula. And Xiao Yao San actually tonifies spleen too. This is for liver spleen disharmony, right? Liver spleen disharmony. They share the same function, liver chi stagnation. But question will give you the signs of spleen deficiency. But main purpose is liver chi stagnation, not spleen deficiency. But question will give you spleen deficiency symptoms. Xiao Chai Hu Tang. Xiao Chai Hu Tang, remember Xiao Yang, and also treat GI symptoms. That is a keyword. Xiao Chai Hu Tang. Because it is in the middle. What? Between what? Tai Yang and Yang Ming. So you treat alternating fever and chill, those are the keywords, and hypochondriac pain, and bitter and dry mouth, and appetite, nausea, vomiting. What are they? Those are all gastrointestinal symptoms. When they combine, remember Xiao Chai Hu Tang. But Xiao Yao San, does it have fever? No. Xiao Chai Hu Tang has a fever and Tai Yang signs. So Xiao Yao San do not have Tai Yang signs. And Ban Xia Xie Xin Tang. And Ban Xia Xie Xin Tang is a modification from Xiao Chai Hu Tang. But it treats P syndrome. P syndrome. What is P syndrome? Epigastric distension and fullness without pain. It is commonly shown on your examination too. Without pain. With the fullness, without pain. And what is the keyword? Other keywords? Vomiting. All these three, memorize them as a bansha session tang. Distension without pain and dry vomit and diarrhea. Commonly shown hint for bansha session tang. And they are very similar, but Xiao Chai Hu Tang treat the heat, alternating heat and chills. And Ban Xia Xie Xin Tang does not treat those heat signs, but treat gastrointestinal symptoms. There's Ban Xia Xie Xin Tang. And drain downward formula, 